the S2C lesson. This educational video is intended to draw attention to the problem of facilitator cueing in a technique called spelling to communicate. S2C is a variant of rapid prompting method, RPM, also known as facilitated communication, or FC. The claim. In this clip from an April 7, 2022 YouTube video called Joey's S2C Class, a facilitator demonstrates how the student Joey can independently select letters using a series of alphabet stencils. This is a rare glimpse into S2C use since workshops in the technique are often limited to people who already believe in it. The questions. What steps are there in an S2C lesson? What is the facilitator's role in supporting the student in selecting letters? How accurate are the letter selections? Does the student know how to spell? Step 1. In this example, the facilitator reads a lesson aloud and randomly spells out words. Until 2006, when it was reclassified. R-E-C-L-A-S-S-I-F-I-E-D. Reclassified means assigned to a different class or category, and it was reclassified as a dwarf, D-W-A-R-F, planet, she writes the target vocabulary words on a piece of paper, in this case on a clipboard positioned outside the student's visual range. There appears to be no attempt to teach the student how to spell the target vocabulary words, or to make sure he is attending to the task. However, while the student focuses on the timer, the facilitator remains fully engaged with the activity. Step 2. Once the facilitator finishes reading the lesson and completes the written vocabulary list, the facilitator chooses a word to spell and the appropriate stencils to accomplish the task. Questions. With his ability to attend and to select letters on the board by himself, why can't the student use the keyboard independently? If the student already knows how to spell the vocabulary words, she didn't instruct him, then why does the facilitator control access to the stencils? In addition, it appears she uses hand signals and verbal cues to aid in letter selection. What purpose do these serve? Letter selection. In the original uncut version of the video, the facilitator instructs the student to scan with his eyes first and poke only once. From the video, it is not possible to see whether the student scans the letters first. Although it does appear he has the visual acuity, spatial awareness, and motor coordination to poke the pencil through the holes in the stencil. 
but it is possible to find out how many times he pokes a stick through the stencil. In this example, the target word is Pluto. Note, he still appears to be waiting for that timer to go off to end the session. What object are we talking about from the text above? What are we talking about? Okay, so let's look, 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 find it. P and L and, nice. P, L and, look, 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 look. U and, T and. Look at it, look, look, look. P, what makes sense? Along with hand signals, the facilitator changes her vocal inflections and gives the following verbal cues. Look, 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 look. Find it. What makes sense? Right next door. Find that letter. And while it appears the student successfully poked only once as instructed, These still images call into question whether he knew how to spell Pluto. P-L-T-V-U-T-M-P-L-P-O. Even when the facilitator selected stencils with a limited choice of letters, the student appeared not to know how to spell the word Pluto. Recap and Conclusion Proponents of S2C believe their clients communicate independently by pointing to a letter board or stencil. They believe their clients have existent language and literacy skills that are unlocked by this technique. However, as this example shows, questions arise when well-meaning facilitators fail to engage their students in the activity fail to teach basic academic skills like spelling target vocabulary words, control selection of the stencils, hold the letter board in the air, use hand gestures or other visual cues to guide letter selection, use vocalizations or verbal cues, inadvertently use techniques that build dependence on the assistant and not independence for their clients. The Science to date, there is no scientifically rigorous evidence to prove facilitated communication, spelling to communicate, rapid prompting method, or any of their variants produce independent communication. Controlled studies show that facilitators, not their clients, are producing the typed messages. Many organizations oppose the use of facilitator-reliant techniques. These include, but are not limited to, American Speech Language Hearing Association, American Association on Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities, American Psychological Association, Association for Behavior Analysis, Association for Science and Autism Treatment. FC is not science. For more information, please check out our website at facilitatedcommunication.org.